Hey guys, Dr. Sean Maravici here, and I'm going to do another cannabis product review for you. Despite all the craziness happening in the world right now with COVID-19, I'm practicing very strict social distancing, but that doesn't mean I can't keep doing product reviews for you. So today we have the another vape cartridge product uh, using the 510 thread system. Uh, today's going to be the Sundial Zenberry, also known as Shishkaberry. And so this comes from Sundial Growers. They're based in Alberta. Uh, some things of note about this company is that they really emphasize that they're uh, putting out pure products, meaning that they're free from additives, fillers, and artificial flavorings. So you know you're getting a really pure product. They do um, a glass and ceramic cartridge, so a very high quality cartridge, and uh, they use single strain extracts. So it's kind of like a single malt scotch, um, meaning that your extracts just coming from one strain rather than a mix of different strains. A lot of the other cartridges out there are really just a mix of a bunch of different strains. So kind of cool that this is uh, a single strain extract. It uh, comes in at around 72 to 82 percent THC, meaning that it's very strong THC level. It's available on the Ontario Cannabis Store, retailing for about 49. Actually, it's exactly 49.95. Uh, putting it into sort of the middle midpoint range in terms of price for uh, for a vape cartridge, but. I don't mind paying a little bit extra if I'm getting a really good quality product. So um, let's open it up. Uh, it's also got a sort of a unique box. Uh, most of the other vape cartridges I've received come in this paper box. Uh, this one is this plastic round container and you open it by, you see those notches, you match up the notches there and then you pull it open or at least you try to pull it open. Ah, there we go. Okay, so let's pull it out. So you can take a look at that. Looks really nice. It's got their logo there, a nice glass um, container, and uh, the tip feels really nice too. Um, so you could tell it's high quality, and that just fits into your 510 uh, cartridge battery system. You screw that in there. Okay, and then you're ready to go. Uh, one thing I also wanted to mention about this particular strain is that their terpene profile includes karyophyllene, myrcene, and humulene. Um, and uh, alluding to its name, they say that you're going to get like a nice sort of berry flavor uh, with this vapor. And uh, I agree. So you'll notice like it doesn't really taste obviously like berries, but there is sort of this hint of berryness in the flavor. Um, I had previously ordered the Aurora Indica uh, cartridge, and that was just like really just straight up like cannabisy flavor. Um, this one definitely has a hint of uh, berryness to it. So uh, I've been using this for the past uh, three, four days, so not a huge long time, but um, but I do like the vapor. It's nice and smooth. It's got that sort of berry finish to it. Um, it is quite strong and it's a creeper, meaning that uh, you don't really feel this one right away. Uh, it sort of creeps up on you after about 10 minutes. So uh, definitely uh, go slow with this one because um, it will sort of creep up the effects and they are quite strong. Uh, so it, it is quite calming. Um, it hits you like in a whole body way, but it's very short lived. Like it only lasts 60 to 90 minutes and then you kind of feel a little sleepy afterwards. So I wouldn't recommend this as a daytime strain. Uh, definitely best suited for evening nighttime use. Uh, and um, that's really what uh, I've noticed about this product is that uh, it's strong. Uh, but the effects wear off um, quite uh, quite soon after, um, so like an hour to an hour and a half. Taking all of those factors into account, so you know a good quality product, um, stressing that it's additive free, which you know is what I want in a vape cartridge. Um, it uh, it's that single strain, um, all around like a high quality product, but the effects are short lived and the price is sort of mid to high range. 
So taking all those into consideration, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. Good product, a couple limitations with it, um, but, uh, but there you have it, uh, the Sundial Zenberry. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you like this content and wanna see more content like this. And uh, I'll be back with another product review for you shortly.